Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Black Book. This game was released on Steam on August 10th, 2021. It says here the regular price is $21.24 US. That could be the sale price, I guess, um, or your regional equivalent. And it's developed by Morteshka and published by Hype Train Digital. So this is described as a dark RPG adventure based on Slavic myths in which you play as a young sorceress. And you also fight evil forces in card-based battles. So it's another one of those, but it's got more to it than just the cards. Let's uh, check out Black Book. Here we've got all our difficulty options here, like easy, normal, hard, really difficult. Let's just go on normal. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here in these parts, and in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard, which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Yugor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. Holy crap, what a cool intro. <laughs> Uh, like the story there, like the, the art style, that was awesome. Quite a, a simple premise, I guess. Gotta break the seals of this book to, to get to hell, but a uh, fucking cool premise, I like it. Wow, look at this art style, this is so cool. It's all voiced as well, it's voiced in both like English and... Possibly Russian? Um, there's like the option, the language options. Been waiting, hoping for you to return, but you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where you had it from relatives and from the warm summer you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. And like really good English voice acting as well. <laughs> A lot of these uh, games that are made by like not an English studio have pretty poor English voice acting, but this is impressive. Cold Mother Earth. Churchyard fans to hold on to. <laughs> Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. <laughs> It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. Sweet. To the crossroads, Candle's Grave. Candles are settings, possibly? Oh, it's just, just an interactable thing. We can look at the thicket. Oh, she moves as well. Look at the lighting. Need to go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. Just have a look at the grave. Of her husband, presumably. They didn't bury him in the holy ground. Okay, to the crossroads. Look at her go. Wow. Oh, look at this. Herb. I can pick that, I think. Nice. Adam's head. Uh, oh my god, I can just click to move her. <laughs> this is <laughs> pretty impressive. <laughs> Holy crap. To the crossroads, perfect. Let's go. I will say I'm not a fan of the chromatic aberration at the edges there. Um, it was quite, quite clear. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done. But you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Uh, so you see, like, if we look in, like, the center of the screen, like, everything, like, the trees and stuff look quite normal. But if we look at the very edge of the screen, it's sort of, like, blurred around the edges. That's the chromatic aberration effect. And I think that's actually, like, the main reason why I can't play Bloodborne is because of this effect that you can't turn off on PS4. So I'm wondering if I can possibly turn it off in post-effects. That might do it. 
Yes, there you go. Post effects turns off chromatic aberration. I don't know what else it'll have turned off. Um, but it is worth it to, to get rid of that and to get a much cleaner looking screen. I have no idea why chromatic aberration is like a popular setting at all. I think it looks horrible. <laughs> okay. Gold bits. She's off. There's eyes in here. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Okay, well, let's talk to Igor. Hello, I'm back. Where have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there, by that milepost. Everything you need for the ritual you'll find over there. Take the candles, we'll light them and draw a circle. Okay, to the milepost. We've already got the candles here. This is very spooky eyes right there. Okay. Is this not... Yes, ritual candles. Go. Well done, Vasilisa. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Okay, make a circle. She's doing it. Oh my god, he's doing witchcraft. That looks pretty good to me. Is it alright, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Gimme. <laughs> Gimme your knowledge. The skeleton on that Would page. You look at that. What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. Okay. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat. But bestow me with knowledge of the dark, and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Ooh. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Okay. Sweet. I mean, this will probably... It's a card game. It'll probably be a... Uh... Uh, pretty self-explanatory. So the black book is all our cards. Use the word Arazi. So it looks like it'll do four damage. Oh, so I just click it? Yes. So I guess we prepare our cards, and then we just end our turn. Nice. He's got nine health left. I think he only does one damage as well. Okay, yeah, and obviously we draw new cards each turn. Enemy attacks can be blocked with the defense. Okay. This will give me five defense. I mean, that's a bit overkill, but it's fine. Looks like I can only play one card per turn. Right there. Beautiful aesthetic. Love the cards. Or the pages, I guess. Blocked it. Oh, okay, now we can do... We can combine several pages into the Zagavor. So we can do three pages, okay. And we can only... We can do two... Two scrolls. And one key. So, I mean, this... Like, the key will protect me enough. And then we can just focus on damage. So it looks like maybe the white pages are, like, defensive. And the black pages do damage. We can't quite kill him. We can do... 8 damage. And block his next attack. I'm blown away by this. Holy crap. This is such high quality. Good job, Vasha. This demon is nearly beaten. Okay, well, we know he's going to attack, but, I mean... Oh, sweet, so that, like, pierces. Uh, we can just kill it like that. Like, I don't even need to do anything else. <laughs> Perfect. That was sweet. Now I'm a witch! Oh my god. Is that hell? Holy shit, it's a big snake or something. Take that, you monkey, hellhound! Well, now, Vasha, answer this small. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. <laughs> Safe travels into the gates of hell. Hell yeah. 
This is very metal. Okay, we are uh, we are in hell. <laughs> Love that. You can just go into hell very quickly. Oh, Satan, is that you? Oh, uh, is that you, Vasilisa? I think it might actually be Satan. The like horns, you know. I should congratulate you, for the first seal is open. Only six remain. Wow, easy. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Uh, yeah, are you Satan? What sort of devil are you? How rude, Vasilisa. I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Uh, okay, thanks. Let me return to the land of the living. Not just yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. Hooray! How many demons will you take on for your service? Uh, all of them. Well... I will certainly need the help of demons, so give me as many as possible. Ah, that's the spirit. Just committed your first sin, oh no. Say the fate of the Kuldun and Witch is to burn in eternal flames with no chance for absolution. Now comes some events of this game is yours to decide. Your sin counter will change according to your decisions, uh oh. Number of sins affects your choice of replies as well as possible game endings, incredible. Okay, so we got we got one sin now. You are still too weak. Soon you will have three charts at your command. That's enough for now. Black book. Wow, I love the aesthetic of this game. <laughs> this is awesome. Looks like the chromatic aberration's back on. I don't know why. Like it looked like it was in hell as well. No, it's still off. That's weird. It definitely disappeared for a while there. What? Well, are you awake? The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. Okay, so we are in... Old Igor's Iza? The, the hut or something? We can look at all these books. Ah. We can also look at our... We can talk to him, I guess. We can look at our book. Change the page composition of the black book. Okay, so... We have to have a minimum of 13 pages and a max of 33 in our deck. But I think I really only have these cards at the start. Like, I haven't unlocked, like, anything here. Oh, we unlocked these for doing all the other seals. Um, and yeah, I just don't have, like, anything in here. So that's why I only have 13 cards in my deck. I can't really change them. One of that, two of that, three of that. Okay, so we've looked at our book. Now we can see our visitor. They seek your advice and your help. You can't continue onward until you hear them out. Perfect. Oh, hello. Thought you came from there or something. God bless, Igor Ivlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. This isn't flour, this is five rubles. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? If you answer a knowledgeability question correctly, you'll receive an experience reward. A tooth. Okay. To recognize the correct answer, you'll have to carefully study your surroundings and the onomasticon. Oh, sweet. The mill that stood still, maybe? I mean, I can't find anything in here right now about his question, but like, it sounds like it's demons, you know? Strange sounds, could be bandits. Strange shifting shadows, I mean, could also be bandits, I guess. Wow, this could be either. 
Should we do it? Let's let's do a hint. Why not? The windmill stands at the border between the worlds. The miller happens to be a cold dune. Okay, so it's probably demons. Why do you work at night? Sweet. Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with your chort. Sweet, we got a new task, chort. Oh, right. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. Here's the yeah. Okay, now on your travel map. Sweet. Where do we want to go? Oh, interesting. So it's a little bit like Slay the Spire. Like, we need to get here, but we can have to go through the... Um, the optional areas first. Okay, well, let's go to the riverbed first. Set off. Probably just gonna do this one. I assume that'll be a, an encounter there. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. Come closer? You move closer, a couple of steps. Suddenly, a demon appears from beneath the water with black horns and a body that is woolly and matted. It's a sheep. It's fine. Prepare to fight it. Die, sheep. Oh. He doesn't he doesn't look very wool like maybe. He's got like goat hooves, I guess. Okay, he does four damage. Well, I think let's Hmm. Let's shield for three. And that uses the key. Uh, and then I can do like big damage on these. Let's do that. I'll take one hit point. That's okay. And if I draw right, I might be able to kill him this turn. Oh, I'm, did I, I must have started with um, some armor there. I can do two damage there. These are not damage, unfortunately. Well, they are. They're just not enough. So let's shield up. We'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, and then we can do a little bit more damage with this. This will give me heart. I don't really... Oh, I see. So this will give me two more life, I think, because I've got another white page up there. Let's just do that one for the damage. There we go. We're up to five armor. Waste. Can we hover over this? No. Oh, I see. It's, oh, the waste is just a... Oh, it's poison, I guess. It's like a damage over time. Okay, can I do five damage here? Yes. Like, he should die next turn anyway. Uh, let's just shield just in case. I think we're okay. Yeah, then he'll take the waste damage on his turn. I don't really need that much armor, but I've got it. He's dead. <laughs> ah, okay, so we got a new page. I think this one's quite good, because I go for a lot of, like, black pages. Firm. Ooh, remains active for another turn. I think I want Kila for now. Sweet. My god. <laughs> this is so cool. What a flippin' cool game this is. I'll admit I was, um, a bit hesitant about covering this, because I'm just so over card games. <laughs> like, like you know, the, the normal card games, like Slay the Spire kind of card games. I, I think there's a lot of good ones, I'm just very over them. Um, and like, I, I covered one uh, a week ago or something that I was just thoroughly unimpressed by, and it was just very, very average. And this is just like completely the opposite of that. There's so much more going on in this than just card games. Um, it's not roguelike, so, you know, most of the card games are roguelike, so this is, this actually, like, <laughs> serves a purpose. It's got a story, it's a role-playing game, it's got just incredible atmosphere and, and artwork and art style and everything. Uh, this is awesome. Really, really like this so far. Definitely gonna be playing more of this. That was a look at Black Book. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!